have transport. All right, so we're going to make a comparison between the Rio 10.3 and the Sydney 10.4 of, in this case, Sea Builder. And this is the using the Embarcadero IDE. And I wanted to first give a quick overview of something that you may not be aware of. In the very beginning, this started out as a company called Borland. And they wrote things like Pascal. They created comp compilers for Pascal and such. Uh, and C. And then later on they split apart. There was Code Gear. You probably had heard that before. And then Embarcadero came along. And uh, so what we have is something kind of new with the Sydney version that you may not be aware of. So I'm going to show you Rio first. And when you first see me run it, you'll notice that all my windows are free floating. And this is because you have the ability, uh, let's see, startup layout, for this thing called Classic Undock. To understand what that is, we, under, we need to understand how far back this goes, this ability to move your windows around freely like this. Now, the freedom of this allows me to do something else. If I open an old project, just one I was working on a couple of weeks ago, you'll notice that down here I've just got code. I don't have a form designer. If I go and I look at my forms, because this is you can't do this anymore, not with the new version, not with 10.4 Rio, or uh, Sydney. So I can see my form and I can see my code at the same time. And if I do something over here, if I double click on something and I create an event, it'll appear over here and I can see both of these at the same time. I do not have to constantly click down here to see my form and then click back to see my code and back and forth and back and forth. I can see both of them and it helps me in the design process, the creative process to be able to see both simultaneously. But more than that, I have three monitors. So I do all my design stuff on the left monitor I'll do all my code stuff on the right monitor and I do management and other things in the center of looking things up. It's just the way I work. I've been doing it for years. To give you an idea of how long I've been doing it, this is Builder 6. This is back when Borland wrote the software, the compiler. This is 2002, man. And this is just the native way that the compiler works. So you'd have your form separate from your code, and it was wonderful. And I actually still use B uh, Builder 6 sometimes when I can't get the modern versions of Embarcadero's compilers to work because, to be perfectly honest, they're kind of buggy. And that's why you see patches for it. Back in the day when you bought the compiler, it worked out of the box and just very seldom had problems with it. So this is just one form. So you say, well, what about other forms? Well, see, I can come up here and I can say forms and I can see the other forms of my project. And I can see all the forms and all the code side by side at the same time. This is made possible through an option under Tools, under User Interface Form Designer, by removing the embedded designer. And this is just absolutely the best way to go about doing it. And for some reason, Embarcadero has decided that they're gonna remove this ability. And they say that it causes problems, which I find rather funny because if we look at their discussion on this the floating form designer ever since 2003 the Red Studio ID has been docked okay well not really because we just saw it not docked that is why you can drag where well, you can drag tool windows like the palette object blah 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 and so forth the float the overall design of the ID is an integrated window which I don't think that that's the case because this isn't a very integrated system. This is the 2002 version. Maybe something happened after this that I'm not familiar with. You can still cause these to dock. It's just an option in the software, I believe. But that's not the point. They said this behavior has been replaced by a modern docking design for 17 years requiring you to manually turn on the old style feature, which is what we saw when I went up to tools and, and separated the form designer. And unfortunately did not always behave well. How in the world can they say that it doesn't always behave well? I've been using it for a long time with no problems. But apparently they just decided that it was a hard decision to remove the ability. So to see the ability removed, if we go ahead and run, we'll just go ahead and minimize Rio and we'll run Sydney. <clears throat> and you'll notice I don't have my welcome screens or splash screens turned on. If you're wanting to know how to do that, it's really actually pretty simple. Put the letters dash NP at the end of your program executable and you won't have to deal with the welcome screen. Anyway, so let's just create a new VCL application. And so here I am. I am stuck. 
they have locked me into this modal whatever nonsense where the, all these child windows, even though I can pull them out, um, this code window doesn't let me separate my design. So I'm always stuck. So if I'm doing some code here, I can't see my I can't see my design form. I can't move my design form off the screen or do something else with it to look at in the process of, of working in my code. I have to come down here and if I want to make a button and do something with this button and double click it, then I come back over to my code page, I write some code, and then back to this and then do something and then I got to click back down here. And I'm constantly going back and forth like this instead of being able to see both at the same time and just toggle back between these two viewports. I don't understand why they did that. The ability to go to Classic Undocked is removed from Sydney, and so is the ability to remove the Form Designer, because if you go to Options, User Interface, Form Designer, it's not there anymore. So they've pretty much flat out told us, nope, you can't do it anymore. And for me, that's a game changer. I'm not going to buy the software anymore. This is absolutely a must for me. I've been doing it for too long, and for them to take that ability away is aggravating beyond any description that I can explain. This right here feels like they've stuck me in a straitjacket. I have got to work the way they want me to work. I mean, sure, I can come over here and I can say, uh, give me, because check this out. Right here, if I want to say right click, open a new edit window, it won't let me do it. I can't get out of this one unless I add, so I can kind of work around it. But that's, that's ridiculous. I can add another unit. So now I've got two units here this unit doesn't have a form associated with it. If it did, it would have a design button down here like unit 1 does. Here's your design part. But if I go to unit 2, I can actually right click on this one now and say edit in new window. And it'll bring me a new window up. Now I've got this same file open twice. So I can come up here and I think I can close that page. Okay, now I can have this code page separate, which is we're getting we're kind of getting there. I if I had a form associated with it, then the form part would still be down here like it is with this one. See if I can open unit one in a new window. No, it won't let me do it. So I can't. I still can't get this one out for whatever reason. Let's try going ahead and adding a third unit. And let's see if we can get this one to come out. Okay, now we've got the first one out, but see it's like they didn't expect us to do that, so it's not behaving very well. So unit one is out, but I can't. I can't. Okay, here's unit three. It's out now. So I've got these three out, and I can move them off window. But I've still got to flip back and forth between my code and my design. I cannot have the code separate from the design. They're they're stuck together. And this one is still here. So can I close that one? Okay, now I can close that one. Now what I can do is I can actually pull this out and I can pull this out and I can actually move these off the window now and they want to stick to each other no matter what I do they just are sticky and so if you want to rearrange them you gotta kinda of grab them and do stuff like that and don't complain to me that I'm using uh, Sydney and I'm running Windows 7 because it runs fine in 7 even though it says it wants to run in 10 that's another misnomer, but anyway. So when it, when it's all done and said, this is a this is just a train wreck. This is a mess. Why would they do this? It drives me absolutely bananas because they had the hard decision to remove it. Now here's my hard decision for them. You guys are charging me four thousand bucks for the enterprise version of my compiler that I've been using faithfully for twenty more years. This is this is a game changer, guys. I'm not going to buy your software anymore. It's just not going to fly because you are a premium leader in this industry, and you're telling me that you can't remove the form designer from the code window without causing problems. You're telling me that this simple little trick from moving this window off of a tab down here outside the code editor is going to cause problems for you to compile a program? I don't care what kind of, of graphic VCL component you've got stuck on one of these windows. If you can't add a data aware device or something like that down here or anything that's up here on the palette and it be able to keep up with where it is in the code, then you guys got a problem with being able to create a compiler. 
That is absolutely unacceptable. Now, on top of that unacceptability is, you know, a lot of other things that are wrong with the compiler as well. I'm not going to go into that, but for crying out loud, when you guys release a compiler, this last one, it had so many patches, it's ridiculous. And you're charging a lot of money. I mean, that's a boatload of money, man, for something that out of the box isn't working right. And then you start taking away something that is critical to the way so many people use the compiler. I'm kind of wondering if I'm the only one that is complained about this. Oh, and wait, it looks, it turns out I'm not. This one was 22 days ago, and today is October the 10th. And this fellow says um, he can't seem to figure out how to get 10.4 to behave like Rio. And this guy right here just cracks me up. I have no problems with embedded form systems. I wonder if you have time to just explain why you find floating forms so essential to your work pattern. Honey, I don't have to explain to you my work pattern. Why is it essential? Because it's the way I use it. That's all there is to it. You don't need to know anymore. If you want me to, buy, if you want me to pay four thousand dollars for your software, then leave it alone. That's that's huge, dude. This, you can't put me into a box and, and then expect me to have to jack around with this every time that I'm going to go into an environment and start coding. This is frustrating. The last time people that, the, the last thing that people want to code is a layer of frustration added on top of it. This is supposed to be, you know, my Zen place, not anger management. <laughs> I don't understand why they did it. But if you're about to buy the software and you're not aware of that and you're used to using it that way, you may want to stick with your old copy and just deal with uh, you know the environment and the patches that you have to deal with because it, I don't know if they're going to change that back. But until I see Embarcadero put that feature back into the IDE, it's almost like that they decided, well, we're just going to make all programmers program the same. Man, I'm not a brick in the wall. This is, not, this is a Pink Floyd song come to life right here. And that's my explanation to uh, Roger there about why I like to have my windows open. And my primary reason is, listen, dude, I'm in a windowing environment. And you're defeating the purpose of windows when you lock me into this grid system. I don't even know what I just did there. And then make me have to break things apart when you already had the ability to do it in your former compiler by just selecting it. And then you turn around and tell me that it causes problems overcome your problem whatever the problem was that you're saying that you had and I'm gonna guess that it has to do with VCL components following code overcome that problem instead of making the user suffer because you can't figure it out by removing the feature that's backwards thinking it's bad marketing and you're gonna lose you're gonna lose in the end because people aren't gonna use your software like they used to and they're gonna complain about it and moan like I am and I've actually done a couple of videos in the past for people that didn't know how to uh, set their windows up like this. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can't give you an example. Let me go to my YouTube channel real quick and look up one of those old videos. I'm going to my channel, videos, and I think. I have 1.3 thousand views on setting up 10.3.2 and 871 views on setting up Tokyo. So I'm not the only one that wants to be able to set up 1.3 thousand views on set and this video is dedicated specifically on how to set up your IDE so that your windows are broken up like this. That's how many people came to find out how to do it. And then there another 841 on Tokyo. When I had Tokyo, that was the version before Rio. So if that many people want this environment to behave like this, it's probably a good idea to leave it that way. Let's see how many I did for Rio. Here's the Rio one, or uh, Tokyo one. But... Eight hundred seventy-one views. There it is. So, anyway, if you're about to go when you're getting ready to buy Sydney, or you're about to upgrade, you're going to do a renewal. You might want to tell your sales rep that you're not happy 
with the way that they've changed your work environment. And somebody might want to, I don't know who this guy is, Roger, um, but if you click on him, now I've got to sign in. His credentials are pretty good if, if, I, if memory serves. So, and I will say one thing about um, Remy. This guy right here, Remy LeBeau, he's been with the company since I had Builder 6. I actually used to talk to him on, I guess you call forums, back in the day, 2003, 2004, 2005. And he's always been a great help. Uh, he used to run, uh, he was called Team B back in the day, but he still signed his name Remy. And he gave us the answer right here. This is the doc wiki on this part right here. And um, then there was another guy that came along, and he did show how you can use this to separate your windows. He did go and demonstrate this part, but it still doesn't get the form designer separated from your code. Your form designer still you got to click down here on the stupid tab every time to switch back and forth between it. And you still have this uh, parent-child program thing going on. And you can kind of move the, yeah, you can still move the program around, but, and there's options for that as well under, anyway. I guess that's about it. I hope this has been informative for you. And if you do work this way, where you are able to move your stuff off the screen and and uh, organize your work however you see fit, if that's something that you do want to be able to do, I would hope that you would voice your opinion to Embarcadero. Leave a comment. I don't usually get comments on code pro on on these kind of videos. I think a lot of people are afraid to <laughs> buck the system because they don't want anybody to mess with their compiler environment because it's so precious to us. And uh, and especially when we're trying to get help, we don't want somebody to blackball us if we're trying to get help on the forums or something like that. But listen to me, if you don't stand up and say something about it, then they're going to keep doing it in such a way so that you're going to be stuck coding the way that they see fit for you to organize your workflow. And that just doesn't fly in the programming realm. I'm sorry, you can't make me, you can't put me in a box because this is that's what you do when you create this kind of setup. Maybe this is the way that kids nowadays learn how to do it because they don't have imagination or something. <laughs> they can't, I don't know what's going on with this. Why would you have, uh, I, this is for people that have teeny tiny monitors or something. I don't know what's going on. Thanks for your time. Thanks for listening to me rant a little bit. And please speak up about it. And hopefully they change because I, I would hate to, stop buying their product. I've used it for so long. Y'all have a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.